want you to know that it's Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. So you guys might have recently seen that I reorganized my room completely in a recent video. So I will have that video linked below. But even though my room was totally organized, I was kind of bored with it. I was bored with how it looked. The color palette is really neutral. So I decided I wanted to do a full redecoration for spring and summertime, add in some fun pops of color, just spice things up a little bit. And I wanted to do it on a budget and also make it really easy. If you guys enjoy watching these DIYs, if you get some ideas from it, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. And it also helps me know that you guys like these types of videos from me. This first DIY is inspired by this anthropology pillow that I saw, which I think is adorable, but also super expensive. So to make your own, all you need is some colored yarn. You can choose whatever colors you like and what go with your room. And you also want one roll of thinner yarn that looks something like this. So first start by cutting a piece of cardboard to be about five and a half inches wide and start to wrap your colored yarn around it. I wrap mine about 20 times, then snip off the end and gently pull the yarn off of the cardboard, trying your best to keep its shape. Then take about a 10 inch piece of your thinner yarn and double tie it directly in the center. From here, you wanna fold it in half and snip off the end loops. Then take a long piece of your colored yarn and double tie it a couple centimeters from the top and then you have the formation of your tassel. So from here, just snip off the excess and trim your tassel up so it's nice and even and that's all there is to it. Once you start making these, they go by really quickly. I made all of mine while watching TV and I had kind of a good time doing it. The amount of tassels you're going to need to make will depend on the size of your pillow and how far apart you want them spaced out. I had to make about 40. And now to attach your tassels onto the pillow, you need to get an embroidery needle, which looks like this, and string one side of that thinner white thread through it like so. You can tie it on there, but I figured out later that you actually do not need to do that. Then thread this through the pillow and then take the other end and double or triple tie it into place so it's nice and secure. Just do that for all the rest and space them out how you want. I did mine about two inches apart and just continue this process until all of your tassels are in place and you're all done. It's really easy to do, a little bit time consuming, but I think totally worth it because this pillow is just so unique and colorful and fun and just adds a really cool pop of color to your room. Next up are these really easy chrome mason jar vases. So you wanna start off with some metallic spray paint. The key with spray painting glass with metallic paint is to constantly be shaking the spray paint. And also you wanna do one thick coat rather than multiple coats. That's going to help preserve the metallic look. Allow these to dry for a few hours and then add in your flowers, or in my case, fake flowers, whatever works for you. To display these, I used this fun gift bag in the color theme of my room, and I just cut off the handles and put my vase on top of that, and I think it's just a really pretty fun display to have in your room. Next up is this fun 3D wall art that was actually inspired by some wall art that I saw up in Zoella's new house. Hers is in heart shapes, but I decided to make mine in butterfly shapes for my spring theme. You, of course, can choose any shape you like. So to make this, you wanna start off with some craft paper in the colors of your choice. I also got these 3D butterfly stickers to add in the mix as well. To make the process a lot faster and easier, you can find these shaped punchers from the scrapbooking section of your craft store. You also want to get a shadow box to frame your 3D art. I found this one for only $15 from my craft store. First, you want to cut out the backing. I'm using this metallic poster board and you want to cut it to be the size and shape of the frame that you're using. Then start punching out or cutting out your shapes that you want to make. I decided to make my top color pink and my bottom color butterflies a mix of orange and also the multicolored craft paper. So first start by gluing down the bottom layer shape and for the top layer, fold it in half and glue half of it down, alternating the half that you're gluing down like so. And just a side note, if you use spray adhesive, it makes the whole process a lot faster and easier. So this is how it looks when it's all done. I think it's so cool because it has that 3D effect. It almost looks like the butterflies are alive and actually flying. So I just think this is so cool, really easy to make, and just adds a fun element to your room. Oh, I 
Last are these DIY ombre colored curtains. So to start off, you want two cotton tablecloths. Using cotton will absorb the fabric dye a lot better. Using straight polyester, which most curtains are made out of, will not work. Then you will also need fabric dye in the colors of your choice. I recommend using the powder dye because from what I've read, it tends to work better. And then also you want to find these curtain clips. You can get them at a Home Depot type store or also online. They're about $5 for a set of 14. So you want to start by grabbing a large bucket or a trash can and fill it up with hot water and one cup of salt and that's going to help the dye absorb better. So I started off by putting a little bit of the rose pink color and it dipped in a little bit less than halfway. And I submerged the curtains in this color for just a couple of minutes. And then I pulled the curtains up about a third of the way and I added some fuchsia color and a little bit of orange just to start to fade the color into an orange. I let this sit in the mixture for about five minutes and as it's sitting you kind of want to stir it up so you're making sure the fabric dye is absorbing evenly and then after about five minutes i pulled it up even more so just about a third was left submerged in the bottom and then i added the rest of my orange color and i let this sit in the mixture for about 15 full minutes. Once I had it the color that I wanted, which is kind of a faded pink into orange, then I rinsed everything off with water and let it dry. And that's pretty much it. All you need to do from here is clip on your curtain clips. And by using these, you can cut or fold over the tablecloth to be the size that you need it so it fits your window. And that's it, you're all done. I just absolutely love how these turned out. I love how they look in my room. And as you saw, they're really easy to make. Don't be intimidated by fabric dye. I had never used it before and it's actually really easy to work with. So those are my DIYs for today. I hope you guys got some ideas for how you could spice up, revamp your room for spring and summertime. If you guys did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up and leave a comment below of which of the DIYs was your favorite. And if you guys do decide to make any of these in your own rooms, definitely tag me on Twitter or Instagram. I just love seeing your recreations. It honestly makes my day. So don't forget to do that. And I will see you guys next week with a new video. Bye. Hey guys, Ryan here. So I just feel like I wanted to come on here and show you guys how to really do one of these tassels. What you got to do first is get your yarn, okay? And then uh, what we're going to do is we're going to do about a good, I'd say, you know, now you eyeball this and do about a good 30 real quick wraps around your hand. And then you can kind of like, yeah, you can just pull it tight and rip it like that. What you do is you can just kind of like, Cut it a little bit, watch your hands, don't cut your hands, just kind of do a little mash, and then you start wrapping it around, just get into it. You know, if you want to make it extra pretty, you can use like ribbon, kind of toss it up, loosen it a little bit. We're flaying it around here, like a, like a hot flapjack, or like a real hot potato in your hand. And then, uh, boom! <laughs> Look at that! That's a work of art. Yeah, you're welcome, YouTube. I'm out.